Welcome to our YouTube channel where we explore insightful book summaries to help you grow personally and professionally. Today, we are diving into QBQ, The Question Behind the Question by John G. Miller, a thought-provoking book that delves into the concept of personal accountability and the importance of asking better questions to drive success in both our personal and professional lives. So, let's dive into the summary of this incredible book. But before we dive into the content, I kindly request a moment of your time to appreciate this video by liking it, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that notification bell. Your support means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Imagine a world where everyone takes full responsibility for their actions and outcomes. That's the world John G. Miller envisions in his book QBQ, The Question Behind the Question. In this summary, we will uncover the key takeaways and insights from this powerful book. So let's get started. QBQ will teach you to ask better questions and stay accountable and why doing so will change every aspect of your life for the better. Imagine you're enjoying a nice lunch at your favorite restaurant. As a busy waiter takes your order, you request to have a Diet Coke to drink. Unfortunately, the young man informs you that they only have Pepsi. Not wanting to take too long, you let him know that's all right and think nothing of it as he hurries off. Eventually, your food comes, and you begin to enjoy your meal. Moments later you hear a flurry of activity behind you and before you know it there is a nice, cold, 20-ounce bottle of Diet Coke in front of you. I thought you said that you didn't sell Coke? You ask the diligent waiter. He responds with, We don't, but the grocery store around the corner did. As you question who paid for it and the boy mentions that he did, you are taken aback in amazement. What incredible service. This is just what happened to author John Miller as he describes at the beginning of his book QBQ. The question behind the question. Practicing personal accountability at work and in life. This diligent young waiter perfectly exemplifies what it means to have the right attitude. A trait that you'll soon see is a simple matter of asking better questions. Here are the three most life-changing lessons this book teaches about having the right attitude when life gets hard. Ask questions that begin with what or how rather than why, when, or who. Instead of asking questions about they, them, we, or you, make sure that you focus on yourself by including I. The best questions are action-focused. Get your thinking cap on and let's learn how to ask better questions. Lesson 1. Rather than asking why, when, or who, make sure that you start your queries with what or how. There are two types of questions. The wrong ones that lead to inaction and pain are called IQs or incorrect questions. These are the questions like why me that come up after something goes wrong. In contrast, the question behind the question QBQ is behind those initial negative thoughts we might have when a difficulty arises. Learning to ask the QBQ will help you successfully navigate any hardship. Think of how you feel when you hear questions like these. For example, when is management going to provide us with more products? Why are we always so short-staffed? When are the customers going to learn to read the menu? Each of these statements is full of blame, negativity, and a disturbing lack of ownership. On the flip side, QBQs always start with what or how, like these, what can I do to make this situation better? How can I do this differently in a way that works? Reading those questions and asking ones like them is empowering. They are full of opportunity, enthusiasm, and ownership. QBQs help your brain change from a state of feeling victimized to a focus on how to make a difference and move forward. Just like the young man at the restaurant, people that ask QBQs have a natural energy about them, and they get ahead in life. The first step to forming a QBQ is to begin with what or how. Lesson 2. When you focus on yourself by including I in your questions, you develop the rare and valuable habit of accountability. People these days seem to be all about blaming everyone but themselves for their problems. We hear people say of their troubles, it's just the way it is, without any hope for changing their situation. Many feel entitled to benefits without any willingness to become proactive and accountable for improving their situation. Don't be like the rest of the world. 
Instead of blaming everything else for your problems, maintain accountability by asking questions with I in them. Doing so will help you take ownership over aspects of your life that you feel you can never improve. Things that seem permanent to you now will become changeable when you put I into your questions. Some situations prove to have barriers that seem insurmountable. Often we find ourselves focusing only on these problems and our limitations, rather than what we can change. By asking questions with I in them, we shift the focus from what we can't improve to what we can. Once we do that, our situation seems so much better. Lesson 3. To master the QBQ, ask questions that focus on action. Even though we may initially fear the risks of taking action, not acting is a greater risk. As Miller teaches, action, even when it leads to mistakes, brings learning and growth. Inaction brings stagnation and atrophy. When we move forward, even if we are not entirely sure, we express the courage to find solutions to our problems. In circumstances where we fail to act, we stagnate from remaining stuck in the past. I've had many experiences where action solved even the grisliest of problems. In times when I was uncertain if what I thought to do would work, I always progressed from the feedback I received only after acting. A few years ago, an immediate family member was in the hospital with a semi-serious condition. At first, we were terrified and heartbroken by the gravity of the situation. Fortunately, I was reading QBQ at the time. As I began asking questions like, what can I do to help? And how can I improve this situation? Things started to get better. Even though I'm not a medical professional, I discovered steps I could take to help my loved one because I asked the right questions. Thankfully, their condition improved rapidly and they surprised everyone by coming home earlier than expected. This family member is healthy and well today, and I attribute that in part to my learning how to ask QBQ questions. Asking QBQs is as simple as combining all three of these principles. Start with what or how, include I, and focus your question on action. With practice, you'll become a master at the QBQ, and your life will dramatically improve. I love this book and have since I read it a couple of years ago. I read Learned Optimism right before picking up this one, and my biggest question after that one was how to stay accountable and proactive while being optimistic. This book was the short and powerful answer I needed, and I highly recommend it as a must-read for everyone. Those are the individuals who truly deserve to immerse themselves in this extraordinary book. The 17-year-old high school student who loves to gossip and blame others for their misfortunes. The 45-year-old computer programmer who has just lost their job. And anyone who has ever asked themselves, why me? QBQ. The question behind the question is a transformative book that challenges readers to take ownership of their actions and outcomes through the power of asking better questions. By embracing personal accountability and reframing our mindset, we can unlock our full potential and achieve greater success in all areas of our lives. Miller emphasizes that by asking the right questions, we shift our mindset from a victim mentality to one of personal accountability. We learn to stop playing the blame game and start taking ownership of our thoughts, behaviors, and results. This shift in perspective empowers us to become proactive problem solvers rather than passive complainers. One of the key messages in the book is that we cannot control everything that happens to us, but we can always control how we respond. By asking QBQs such as, what can I do to improve this situation? Or, how can I contribute positively? We can break free from the cycle of negativity and take charge of our lives. QBQ. The question behind the question is filled with real-life examples, practical tips, and engaging stories that drive home the importance of personal accountability and the transformative power of asking better questions. It challenges us to move beyond the surface level of problems and dig deeper to uncover the underlying issues that we have the power to change. Here are the key chapters in this remarkable book, each holding valuable insights and captivating narratives that promise to engage and enlighten readers. Chapter 1, The QBQ Philosophy. Miller introduces the concept of the question behind the question, QBQ, emphasizing the importance of asking the right questions to achieve personal accountability. Instead of blaming others or making excuses, Miller encourages readers to ask themselves questions that focus on what they can do to improve a situation. Chapter 2, 
The Power of Personal Accountability One of the central themes of the book is the idea that personal accountability is the key to success. By taking ownership of our actions and decisions, we can proactively influence our outcomes and drive positive change in our lives. Miller illustrates this through real-life examples and practical advice. Chapter 3. Asking Better Questions Miller explores the art of asking better questions to foster personal growth and development. By reframing our questions to focus on what we can control and influence, we can shift our mindset and approach challenges with a solution-oriented mindset. This shift leads to greater clarity, motivation, and productivity. Chapter 4. Overcoming Blame and Victim Mindset In a world where blaming others and playing the victim is all too common, Miller challenges readers to break free from this destructive mindset. By asking QBQs that promote personal responsibility and accountability, we can rise above negativity and take charge of our lives. Chapter 5. Implementing QBQ in Your Life Finally, Miller offers practical strategies for implementing the QBQ philosophy in everyday life. From improving communication skills to enhancing leadership qualities, the book provides actionable tips and techniques to help readers harness the power of asking better questions. Let's continue diving deeper into the impactful concepts presented in the book QBQ. The Question Behind the Question by John G. Miller In a world where we often look for someone or something to blame for our challenges and setbacks, QBQ challenges us to shift our mindset towards personal responsibility and accountability. By focusing on asking better questions that begin with what or how instead of why or who, we empower ourselves to search for solutions within ourselves rather than pointing fingers outward. One of the key takeaways from the book is the idea that the quality of our questions determines the quality of our life. By asking proactive and solution-focused questions, we can steer our thoughts and actions towards positive outcomes. This shift in questioning can lead to increased productivity, better relationships, and a more fulfilling life. QBQ also stresses the importance of embracing a mindset of continuous improvement. Instead of being content with the status quo or waiting for circumstances to change, the book urges us to take initiative and actively seek ways to grow and develop. Through personal accountability and a commitment to asking better questions, we can unlock our potential and achieve greater success. Furthermore, QBQ, the question behind the question, provides practical strategies for integrating the QBQ philosophy into our daily lives. From reframing challenges as opportunities for growth to fostering a culture of accountability in our personal and professional relationships, the book offers actionable steps to help us apply these principles in various aspects of our lives. Ultimately, QBQ serves as a powerful reminder that we have the agency to shape our own destiny through the questions we ask and the actions we take. It encourages us to move beyond a reactive and victim mentality towards a proactive and empowered stance where we are the architects of our own success and fulfillment. As you reflect on the insights shared in QBQ, the question behind the question, consider how you can incorporate the QBQ philosophy into your own life. Start by asking yourself better questions that focus on personal growth, responsibility, and positive change. Embrace the power of accountability and watch as it transforms your mindset, actions, and results. You can find the link to acquire a copy of this incredible book in the description below. Thank you for exploring the transformative ideas of QBQ, the question behind the question with us today. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you found this book summary helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more book summaries and insightful content. And share this uplifting summary with someone who may benefit from hearing them. Leave a comment down below if you've read this book or have any other recommendations for us. Until next time, remember, the key to unlocking your full potential lies in the questions you ask and the actions you take. Keep asking better questions and let personal accountability guide you towards a life of success and fulfillment.